Saturday, our first full day in Lisbon. We decided to take a self-guided tour of Castelo São Jorge, but first we needed to fuel up with some breakfast. Audrey's was a chill little restaurant within walking distance of the castle. The food was great, the service was friendly, and they even gave us complimentary pastege de nata. This is Kusum, our friendly Nepalese waitress. If not for my clumsy finger, I would have had a very nice mini interview with her instead of this photo. And now, on with the tour of Castelo de Saint George. If you are a fan of castles, Europe has a lot of them, and Portugal is no exception. There are over 150 forts and castles in Portugal, enduring monuments to the will of the Portuguese people to be independent. While bigger and stronger countries were absorbed by others, Portugal evolved independently. Portugal emerged as a nation from the Kingdom of Castile and Leon in the 12th century after 400 years of occupation by the Romans, who built elegant, high-walled forts with high walls and towers to defend their towns. The Moors, who invaded the Iberian Peninsula in the early 8th century, brought with them their innovative stonework and heavily fortified gates. While the kingdoms of Northern Europe and England were still building forts of wood during this period of the Dark Ages, the Portuguese were elevating the art of building castles to its highest point. Of the seven castles and fortifications in the Lisbon area alone, one of these is the Castelo de São Jorge. Human occupation of the hill on which the castle stands dates to at least the 8th century BC, while the first fortifications built date from the 1st century BC. This hill played an important part of Lisbon's history, having served as a location of successive fortifications by Celtic tribes, as well as the Phoenicians, Carthaginians, Romans, and Moors, before its conquest by the Portuguese in the 1147 Siege of Lisbon. Since the 12th century, the castle has variously served as a royal palace, a military barracks, home of the Torre do Tombo National Archive, and now as a national monument and museum. The 1755 Lisbon earthquake severely damaged the castle and contributed to its continuing decay. Aside from the walls of the old castle, the soldier's hospital and the castle shelter were left in ruins. From 1780 to 1807, the charitable institution 
Casa Pia, dedicated to the education of poor children, was established in the Citadel, while soldiers continued to be garrisoned on site. Inspired by the events of the earthquake and the following tsunami, Portugal's first geodetic observatory was built in 1788 at the top of one of the towers of the castle. As with the other castles of Lisbon and Portugal, Castelo de São Jorge is rich in history. If you are a history buff, you might want to do a deep dive later.
Until next time, thanks for watching.